that is the loveliest and best way to be interrupted, by the way, just people chanting your name. It's uh, really the only way to be interrupted. Um, and I would know. Taylor Swift not holding back about calling out her former bad blood. Yeah, during the singer's Eras tour stop in Mexico City, the crowd interrupted the set by chanting her name. And she responded with this. That is the loveliest and best way to be interrupted, by the way, just people chanting your name. It's uh, really the only way to be interrupted. Um, and I would know. Which fans think is Tay's way of not so subtly referencing this moment. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I, I was standing on stage and I was really excited because I had just won the award. And then I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage. And then I, um, then I wasn't so excited anymore. Just people chanting your name. It's uh, really the only way to be interrupted. Um, I would know. Yep, the quip comes 14 years after Kanye West rushed the stage during her VMA acceptance for Best Female Video, prompting a years-long feud between the two. I think people try things on the VMAs they would never try anywhere else. But that's not the first time Taylor's taken a moment to shake some things off from her past. Yeah, the pop star's no stranger to taking the high road. Like back in 2019 when she made plans to re-record her songs after music exec Scooter Braun gained ownership over her master recordings. But it turned out I'm harder to forget than I was to leave. And yeah, I bet you think about me. And since, Taylor's been outspoken with her unhappiness over the deal, making a statement by releasing new iterations of her original albums, each dubbed Taylor's version. I, since I was a teenager, I wanted to own my music. And the way to do it was to re-record my albums and call them Taylor's. I remember it all Just between us did the love affair me. So far, Taylor's graced us with updated recordings of Fearless, Red, and Speak Now. And fans can look forward to her newest re-release, her 2013 album, 1989. There's something that I've been planning for a really, really, really ridiculously long time. And I think instead of just like telling you about it, I think I'll just sort of show you. One of the things about the whole discussion over music ownership is that this was something that started out as a really hard thing I went through. The fans are the people who turned it into something very empowering where when they, they were just saying to me over and over again, we want to listen to your versions. If you redo it, that's what we'll listen to. So if they hadn't, if they hadn't done that, I don't think I'd be having this amazing, exciting experience. I just wanted to think about what could I do over the course of one week that would make them as happy or try to make them as happy as they've made me.